Yes, a new great movie in such a long time. Feels so great. Baby Driver is the latest Edgar Wright movie, which if you know as a cinephile, if you're a fan of this guy, you know what he's directed. You know what he was going to direct, at least in the film category. He's done the Cornetto trilogy, which is Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, The World's End. Then he directed that incredible kind of comic book, kind of like video game, just all over the place. Awesome Scott Pilgrim versus the world. He was going to do Ant-Man, but that one really could shape the way he directed Baby Driver. And was it worth it? I would say yes. So I'm going to give just a little background. It's about a guy, driver named Baby who works for Kevin Spacey's group, who is one of the best drivers, sends out Kevin Spacey's people to go rob these banks or whatever mission he wants them to do. And then he wants to get out already, wants to settle down. But then he's brought back for the game. And yes, I could say this movie really kicked ass. I liked it. I loved it. It's what I liked about Edgar Wright. It's great seeing him back officially after the world's end, which was already like four years ago. You can tell his flavor is all over this place. From the beginning of the first sequence we get to the ending. He works so well with the cast here. You have Enzo Elgore, who is most famously for The Fault in Our Stars. Kind of resembles a little bit of Harrison Ford. I would love to see what he would have done as Han Solo, but it, we got who we got. I'm not going to complain. You also have Jamie Foxx, veteran actor, Academy Award. John Hamm. You have Cinderella herself, Lily James. You have another talented actress, too, who works with John Hamm, Jamie Foxx's crew. All of them did so well, having a good time. Edgar Wright looks like every time he's with char- with actors, whether... It's Michael Sarah and crew from Scott Pilgrim, or Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, and that crew from the Cornetto Trilogy. It looks like he's just having a blast with them, and it shows so much here. Anzal Elgore, he really doesn't say a lot, but he is this person that sh- acts more with the emotions. How he really feels. You can tell when he's very happy. You can tell when he's very pissed off. He uses music to help him get through everything. I relate in the aspect where. I use music to get my stuff done and it felt good seeing someone complete their task with the way they like to do it and seeing a way it kind of resembles me like whether he's just walking down the street just him trying to get something done and he uses that to kind of fill the potential even more Jamie Foxx was really good at being unlikable just wanted this guy to be like oh something bad happened to him and it shows the test of how Jamie Foxx will go Credits to him. Really someone that just you couldn't stand. John Hamm. John Hamm was playing like a Edgar Wright version of John Hamm. But he owned the dialogue with along with his her, his partner. Which I can't think of the name. But but her wife in the movie. They both just kicked ass as like this little marriage couple. Showing that they really cared for one another. Anza Elgore and Lily James' characters. Their romance was adorable. I thought it felt kind of rushed a little bit. A little bit like sudden. But it all depends really how you can see a relationship. But I just felt like that was a little bit quick. But it was adorable. It was building up very nicely. Anza Elgore also has a kind of like a more side relationship. Also with his adopted father. I thought that was really sweet. That was a very adorable too. I wanted to see more of that. But what I got was much appreciated for what they were executing that arc. I, I'm impressed with Edgar Wright at least. Right now so far he hasn't missed a step in my eyes. All these films could be somehow related in some kind of cinematic world if Edgar Wright wanted to. Good job just having fun with your actors. Giving good performances but felt like a crew that at least was having fun. Hopefully that's what I'm getting from the film lens of what I got as the film. The music, music's awesome. Just goes into the story too parts that it picks out for the song specific scenes fit well had me tapping to the beat or singing a little bit to the song too so i'm just very impressed the way edgar wright just made this movie after so many years trying to craft ant-man and doing his other films it's great seeing him back with something like this i'm gonna have to give baby driver an a so let me know guys what you thought if you've seen this movie if you saw it already what did you think of it did you think it kicked ass too did you have a good time at the theater watching this movie and what is your favorite Edgar Wright film? For me, it's very hard to pick. I could pick something maybe 
outside of the Cornetto with Scott Pilgrim, but I really do love the Cornetto too. It's just, it's a special place in my heart, whether it's Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead. But let me know, guys, which one was your favorite. Maybe it's this one. All this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.